Today's New England Central represents the last vestige of a once vital waterfront economy. Burlington was the third largest lumber port in North America back in the 1860s and 70s. Old pictures show, looks like acres of lumber piled up waiting to be transported either by boat or by rail. Despite improbably steep grades, the annoyance of constant smoke, whistling, and rumbling of trains, one of Vermont's most poorly designed rail routes came to be. As the locomotives get bigger, they take the doors down off the train shed, and eventually, as the locomotives get bigger yet, they take the train shed, the brick train shed down altogether and build a wooden steel structure. Construction of a smoother tabletop route from the Winooski River Bridge to Burlington's waterfront began on February 16, 1860. It's just amazing when you read in these old newspapers and everything how many trips that train would take to Burlington. Well, I remember how accommodating it was. If they saw anybody run and tried to catch it, they'd stop. It wasn't like a, you were going to on the New York Central or anything. The last run from Essex to Cambridge happened on June 16, 1938. Aboard was Lillian Cross, distinguished for making both the maiden journey in 1877 and the last 61 years later. 